<laughs> what is this? <laughs> wow, I love how Anya is giving the recap. He never said this. <laughs> Alright, what's up everybody? We are on Season 1, Episode 17 of Spy Family. I don't know what they're doing with the titles anymore because they're getting more and more complicated and it's like they're having multiple titles now constantly for the like, remainder of the season. But this one is called Carry Out the Griffin Plan slash Full Metal Lady slash Omelette Rice. <laughs> I have no idea what we're doing, but uh, yeah, looking at last episode, which that one was called Yours Kitchen slash The Informant's Great Romance Plan. Those were basically the two different storylines that we focused on, right? It was kind of like a nice little side quest type episode. On one hand, we had Yor trying to improve on our cooking skills. <laughs> And it was pretty funny because they invited Yuri over. And of course, I was immediately able to tell that no matter how bad her cooking skills were going to be. Uh, or yeah, her, her cooking skills, right? He was going to admire her for it, <laughs> which is exactly how things played out. And then the last five minutes was this weird, yeah, like like romance scheme with Frankie trying to... Well, he went on a date, right? And he needed a lot of preparation for it, which Lloyd was helping him with. Um, even if it didn't turn out, unfortunately, the way Frankie had wanted it to be. But... Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, again, like thinking about that last episode, not a lot happened that really progressed the main story whatsoever. It was just a nice way to continue, um, well, some individual characters and their own struggles, if that makes sense, right? Like even Frankie is definitely a character that's kind of underdeveloped. He's there and he helps out sometimes, right? And I mean, the, the most prominent role I feel that he's really had was definitely during that one... Uh, yeah, not a side quest type episode at the castle when they set up the mission and everything. That one was fantastic. Really liked that. But he's just there to help out Lloyd every now and then, right? Except this time we needed to help him out. Um, but so, yeah, I don't know if they really have a plan to to continue uh, developing his character necessarily. Yor, on the other hand, of course, had those insecurities as a mom or trying to become that real mom, wanting to improve in the cooking. Even a character like Camilla... Uh, got some more screen time because of this and we saw her finally do a first real good thing which was helping Yor out you know we we've only come to know know you know Camilla basically as like a bitch <laughs> honestly um and so finally we saw a better side out of her which even her husband was very complimentative of I don't even know if that's a word but whatever <laughs> complimentary I don't know but uh yeah, for now, the question is, what do we do next, right? Looking at this title, carry out the Griffin plan, I don't know, it could be having to do with Anya, continuing the mission, right? I mean, that's the main thing that we should be focused on. We just haven't really for a long time now. It's like there's no progression being made when it comes to Damien befriending him, um, even though, well, I can already tell by the thumbnail, like we are going back to school at least. So we're going to see that get a tail, right? Um, yeah, what else are we doing? That's the big question for now. I think we should honestly just, you know, dive in. And so that is exactly what we're going to do. Of course, guys, if you enjoy my reactions to Spy Family, you can already watch me finish the first season straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Over there, we'll be done with all 25 episodes and we are watching season two as it airs. So you'll want to make sure that you join the Patreon. Your support is, of course, very much appreciated and also allows me to make these videos in the first place. So keep that in mind. And for now, let's dive into episode 17 of Spy Family. What are we sending into the sky? Is that part of the Griffin plan? I have no idea what I was looking at just now. Is this uh, metaphorical? The embracing with Vincent. <laughs> Cartoons. I think she said anime, right? Specifically. Well, I don't know about that. She'll learn soon enough. I don't know. I don't know if Anya really would like Damien the same way, though. That's the question. Second son. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> wow, I love how Anya is giving the recap. He never said this. <laughs> what 
Good question, Anya. Ah, oh, dude, this is this is too great. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> nice. He can't refuse anymore. He can't resist. Yeah, exactly. Well, to be fair, he just wanted to know a name. That's it. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody, Anya. <laughs> they just passed by. Didn't care. <laughs> Becky, you don't understand our mission here. Oh, now she is gonna see it. What? Oh, okay. Just likes him. Oh, wait, you talking about Lloyd? Oh, shit, dude. Yeah, speaking of falling in love, I, I know who Becky is about to fall in love with. Already happened. Taken, bitch. <laughs> I need to show second son. Girls. Yo, Mr. Henry is always acting as a substitute teacher. They don't have any other teachers. They just wanna wanna put Henry on the screen. Mm. Yeah, I guess there's some incentive there. Don't hold me back. Don't put the pressure on him. Oh shit, Damien and Anya together. Yeah, this actually puts a bit of pressure on Ronaldo. Thank God. Wow, yeah, still need that. Oh my God, Becky, what the hell are you doing with that photo? Here we go. Elegant. Oh, that's what we saw flying to the sky through one of these creations. So they're just trying to recreate the pets? Oh god, she's making Lloyd. You already know. Oh my god. You can't make this shit up. Showing him. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it, why does it have three tails, though? Anya, that's not the most realistic depiction of Bond you could uh, come up with. Uh, maybe, maybe she's trying to impress him with that. Naming garbage. Damn, dude. Harsh. Operation Dog. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it didn't look like a dog. Everybody's gotta make the sacrifices for him. Yeah, he needs to live up to his brother's reputation. Man, yo, Donovan Desmond, we have not... Is this his voice? This is what he sounds like? I mean, probably, because he's got the mustache hiding his mouth. <laughs> I mean, I'd like to think that's how it's going to play out, but she keeps envisioning these situations. Yeah, that are just not going to happen. <laughs> the 
strained noise of the steam coming out of a nose. But, but, I mean, Anya, look at the, look at bond that you were just making. It's not gonna look good. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh shit, this is some therapeutic, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's doing the hypnotizing on him. Hey, look at that. Cooperation. That's pretty elegant. We know what we call that. I wouldn't go with intriguing. I'm still waiting for Henry to say elegant one time in this episode. I can't believe it. He hasn't said it yet. <laughs> Those are feathers? That's just snippets, yeah. Man. Yo. He is not gonna be happy with you, Anya. I'm sorry. That was to be expected, though, totally. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, so now she fucked it up for him. Even less reason to ever be invited. Damn, that done already. Oh. oh man. Oh dude, this is so sad. A girl griffin. Because it's better than feathers, dude. Yeah, those do all look pretty damn good, not gonna lie. Yeah, and then here we go. What the hell are these cups? This is what? Maybe it panned out better than expected, it's possible. But it didn't look like what Anya actually gave him. Okay. Okay. I mean, it, it looked interesting, I will say that. <laughs> the corpse of the innocent baby griffin. It wasn't supposed to be a corpse, but we won't say that. <laughs> Welp. Uh, yep. Jeeves? Oh, that's like that butler or something, right? Orientation? What, what, what kind of orientation are we talking about here? Oh, okay, 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 okay. That could have gone a whole different direction. Hmm. Game is on. What, even Henry can't believe it? Okay, going back to Sylvia? Why so? 
<笑>シングル<笑>外交官として表の仕事をこなし、オーダーマロス。厳しい監視下、裏では多数の諜報員を統率していた。一部隙も見せぬその異様から、局員は彼女を。Oh, she is full metal lady. What the hell? She related to、uh, to Edward? Edward Elric? これより、ウェストリス。シャウト初期間の尾行を開始。Oh shit。こりもせずご苦労なことだ。Well, she's on to them. Of course. 同じ店。You gotta have a sixth sense for this type of stuff. 毎週水曜日は。シエープール。What, she's trying to establish like a pattern so she doesn't seem suspicious or? Or is it like to prepare for an eventual ambush or? Is she coming out, at, okay, dressed up as somebody else? Applying those Lloyd tactics? Yeah, they don't even pay attention now. Great, great. They are,、oh, yeah, they, they knew that she was going to be in there for an hour at least. Smart, man. Damn, dude. <laughs> so much for the vigilance. I don't know, why, why can't you? She's supposed to be better than you, even? <laughs> Two to the north, one to the east, code language. Okay, okay. Yeah, apparently so. Pretty elaborate, man. We keep seeing the flower. Yeah, there was just like one piece falling off before. Like to show that time is passing, I guess. Two levels on the jump box, that's the progress. <laughs> jump rope five times in a row. Nice man, that'll really get us somewhere. <laughs> Is this supposed to be code language? Okay. What? Holy shit, that was the end. Okay. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Alright, guys, well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, you can watch me finish the first season straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. Kind of a confusing episode, really, when you think about it, right? Like,、um, by the way, there was, I saw also a quick little after credit scene that I ended up not,、um, yeah, including in the reaction. So, my bad for that. I did、uh, end up quickly watching it here myself, but not, but, well, that's basically what the omelet rice part in the title, I guess, referred to, because we saw、uh, you are just basically feeding Yuri a bunch of different food that he was once again calling delicious and then puking it out afterwards. But, Um, <laughs> yeah, like as far as the, the two main arcs or threads that we dealt with in this episode, it's like, what do we really make of it? So, Anya helping out、uh, Damien didn't really lead anywhere. Obviously, well, it didn't improve their relationship in any way, if that makes sense. Even if Damien did end up winning the, the prize. Oddly enough, for it, which he himself was even questioning how the hell did that just happen? And I don't know now if I'm supposed to look into that further. Like, did Anya make sure that they would win in some kind of way? Is that a possibility? Or Lloyd did possibly, right? Or is Damien,、um, like, is Damien's dad paying off the guys that are doing the, the review process or the, you know, criticizing process or whatever, right? Picking the winner? I don't know. I mean, Again, I may just be looking into it a little bit too much, but it's just like there wasn't a clear resolution, yeah, to, to, to that question that was being posed, right? And then we got that、uh, final scene with Damien there as well, who,、uh, yeah, was calling up the, the butler or whatever, right? And he basically talked about how his father never really seemed to care for him and stuff. Damien kind of grew up in his household, yeah, having a lot of pressure put on him. And 
Um, again, his father is a big deal, but not really a real father type, a father figure to be to be proud of. Somebody looking out for his kid or something, right? So surely that's going to lead somewhere. Maybe he's going to see how great of a father Lloyd is for Anya. And that's going to instigate something, right? It's a possibility or it's going to improve the relationship that Damien has with Anya for that reason or something. But um, again, didn't really know what to make of it. Then we have the second part, which focused on Sylvia, right? And even there, it's like, by the end of it, I mean, it was cool to see her go through the motions and stuff, right? And showing us the kind of preparation she does and establishing the, the patterns in terms of um, wh what places she visits, this and that, when people are onto her, and then how she sets up the conversations with Lloyd that she has. But by the end, Lloyd was like reporting a bunch of stuff to her about Anya making progress in terms of like vaulting over, uh, over things and jump roping and whatever, right? And it's like... Even Sylvia didn't know what to make of it. She was like looking at him confused. And that's where the scene ends. Where the episode itself ended actually. So like I said, this episode kind of had me at a loss of words. And uh, I don't quite know what direction we're head headed into right now. So just going to be entirely honest about it guys. Don't have really any further input for now. But I'm sure we're going to see by next episode if these things are still going to lead somewhere or if we're going to be jumping into some different part of the story entirely. Who knows? But for now, I really hope you enjoyed my reaction and review to episode 17 of Spy Family. If you did, then of course you can watch me finish the first season straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Over there, we'll be done with all 25 episodes, plus we'll be reacting to season 2 as well as it airs. So you'll want to make sure you go and join the Patreon for that. For now, guys, I want to thank you all a lot for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.